Here's another video about the Ava-Eye Fisheye camera. It's a Fisheye 360 degree camera, five megapixel. It's PoE. I have it connected with a wire going directly into my PoE switch and then into the NVR. I have another LAN cable going from the LAN port into the switch. They're both on the same network, yet you don't need internet if you don't wanna put this on the internet, but the switch can, is acting in this case as an external switch, I could have also powered this using the plug and play PoE ports that this camera and this NVR are engineered to work together with. So the NVR and the camera have play to, uh, plug and play compatibility between the two. So all you do is connect the camera to the back of the NVR and it just powers on. But I chose to use a PoE switch. Now, the main purpose of this video is to show you how you can view this camera depending on what NVR you have. I've already made a video showing how you can use a NVR that has de-warping fisheye capabilities to view this camera. Now this NVR doesn't have the de-warping capabilities through the HDMI port. I'll show you what that means. So I've got a mouse connected to my NVR. I'm going to a monitor. And then when I left click here, I don't see that fisheye logo to split this view. I'll bring in a screenshot here of what that fisheye logo looks like. So this NVR doesn't have that option through the HDMI port. So if you mainly use your NVR using the HDMI monitor, and this is what an HDMI monitor is, you connect a short HDMI cable to your monitor and you can view the NVR on it. But what this NVR is capable of is if I connect to it using my Windows software to manage and view the NVR, I can actually use a fisheye deboard. I'm going to basically show that now. So there is this small icon here on the bottom left-hand left -hand side that says fisheye control. So I'm going to have somebody click on that. And then now you can choose the mounting style, whichever you have, like if it's ceiling, wall, or desktop. So let's do desktop in this case. And then you can change the display mode. So let's go through those. So basically what you can do is go through the different EPTZ or de-warping options that the NVR has to offer. So let's go through basic this one. So th this is a view of two 180 degree panoramic. It's basically electronically splitting the video apart and letting you control it. Now, whenever these cameras record the video, keep in mind the video is being recorded just as a regular fisheye like that. It's when you play it back through the software or view it in live through the software does it let you do this digital manipulation. It doesn't get recorded as four cameras, let's say if you set it like this, or eight cam or nine cameras. It's always just going to be the fisheye view and you have to use the software. In this case, the NVR does not support de-warping, so you have to use the software to play it back. But if you have one of our more newer NVRs that supports de-warping, you can actually then go in here and de-warp it on the HDMI monitor. Hopefully you understand this nuance that non-de-warping capable NVRs cannot de-warp a fisheye camera that it, uh, through the HDMI port, but you can always use the Windows software. Now, if you're wondering about playback, uh, regardless of whether you have a de-warp capable NVR or not, when you're using one of our Avi and VRs with the fisheye cameras, specifically the 16 channel and higher channel numbers, you can actually use the Avi software, which is a free software to play back and view video from the NVRs. You can actually do the de-warping there. And I'm gonna I have it kind of running right now. So this video is being played back through an NVR that doesn't have native de-warping capabilities, but the Avi software lets you de-warp the fisheye camera, recognizing that it is a fisheye stream. So how did I get to playing back this video? Let me show you. So this is a live view. I'm gonna close out this tab. I'm gonna to go to go to playback here and click on playback. I'm going to select my camera on the NVR that's of interest and then select the day of recording and hit search. Now, once I did hit search, the software basically queried the video quickly when it started recording. And you can see a little timeline here on the bottom. I'm gonna use my mouse scroll wheel I'm scrolling in and all I'm doing is basically dragging through and clicking on the video. So I was making a video tutorial on this camera while this was recording. And here, if I click on 
the video itself automatically pops up the fisheye view. I had it enabled before, so recognize it, but in case you don't know how to do that, click on fisheye control. It'll automatically recognize it with a friendly Ava Eye camera. So once you click on that, you'll see here the options to define the mounting method and then go through the different uh, fisheye views that are available. Here, this one lets me do two 180 degree panoramic views. This is just one. And then basically what it does is it shows me this borderline and I can use that to manipulate what I'm looking at. This is basically EPTZ. And then you can break it up into quadrants and here you can select different areas of view. So basically it's exactly the same thing you could do on live, you can do it on playback. So this is all recorded video. As you can see, it's red timeline here. Live video looks different. You go to control, live, you click your camera, and that's what the video looks like. It's only me standing here, one person, and the playback has two uh, people standing in the video. Right? Now, no video would be complete. I'm on my Mac here. And the purpose of this is to show you that I can use the AVI software for Mac, which works natively on a MacBook M1, M2 processor. The great thing about the AVI software is that what you see on Windows through the software, the AVA Eye software performs just like that on the Mac. So here in the live view, like I showed you, I can do all of these panoramic views as well. All right, now I'm gonna go to playback. I can hit search and do playback right there and then blow it up, go into fisheye view. And then I can do the same exact stuff that I can do on my Windows computer. It's very stable. I'm on a, on a Wi-Fi connection, as you can see over there. So it's pretty swift when you're on the local network. So hopefully you can understand the power of the AVI POE camera systems that you can get by using not only our regular fixed lens, motorized lens security cameras, but also the fisheye cameras as well when you use an AVI NVR and AVI camera together. Now, last note, this is on an NVR that is just the NVR216P. It doesn't have native fisheye compatibility, but I can always tap into that using the Windows or the Mac software. Now, I have the AVAI fisheye camera connected to my NVR216P AVAI NVR, which natively does not support fisheye. I've connected them together, and I'm in my AVAI app. And when I connected to the NVR, the first thing it did was load the camera in the background and then shows me a message here saying that uh, you can tap to switch to fisheye mode on the bottom right hand corner on the fisheye icon so i'm going to click ok because the firmware on the camera and the nvr are from the same factory they talk to each other and the nvr the pc software mac software and the app detect that this is a fisheye camera so when I blow this camera up to full screen here, I can click on that fisheye icon and it says swipe to see more, double tap to return, pinch to open or close, so let's try all that. Automatically, it gave me the option similar to what I see on the Windows and Mac software, the ability to select my mounting methods and stuff. So I'm going to choose what I want so I'm going to click here and select desktop method and I can switch to 280 degree and I will now I'm just using my finger here and I am rotating through the camera it gives me endless rotation sort of like a PTZ but this is called EPTZ I've removed the plastic cover that was on the camera and now you can see the video more clearly see how good and detailed this video is and I'm actually going to switch to different options here so I can select the quadrants and then I can move them around selecting a quadrant highlights only that specific section in the fisheye view but then when I click on it it will bring up all of them so it's kind of a little tricky working with big fingers on uh, this little quadrant there so uh, just keep that in mind that there are certain limitations so what you could do and then here is the 360 degree EPTZ option that lets you kind of go through the different views just like you would have a PTZ camera. And then here's the normal fisheye view that gets recorded. So keep in mind, all of this gets recorded 
on the NVR as just this normal fisheye view. Now I'm going to try and play back the video. So here I have that. Now I'm going to use the timeline to kind of go to a point in time where I have some video. I double tap the quadrant, I click on the fisheye view, it gives me the ability to access the fisheye view menu, and then I can do exactly the same thing that I did on the live view, I can do on the recorded view as well. As you can see, there are a lot of different options to go through. So not only can you do the fisheye dewarp on any of these AVI cameras, as long as you have an AVI NVR. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of what to expect from the fisheye cameras from AVI when using them with an AVI NVR. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.